from Prince Harry's name being linked to the infamous record producer to a former associate of Michael Jackson being named in Lil Rod's papers. Here's the shocking list of celebrities that are caught in P. Diddy's case. In February 2024, music producer Rodney Lil Rod Jones joined a long and still growing list of complainants against the CEO of Bad Boy Records. He stepped forward claiming that P. Diddy had drugged, threatened, and assaulted him from September 2022 to November 2023. Diddy reached out to Lil Rod to collaborate on his ninth studio album, Love. The two struck up a friendship and Diddy offered Lil Rod a place to stay in his home. The music producer accepted and in court filings claimed that he would frequently travel across the globe with Diddy. That's when he witnessed the CEO of Bad Boy Records taking part in illegal activities and coercing Lil Rod to participate. When things went way out of hand and Diddy's abuse went unnoticed for too long, Lil Rod took the matter to court in a $30 million lawsuit. Diddy's lawyers immediately responded to Lil Rod's claims and called it pure fiction. However, Lil Rod had all the proof he needed to launch a criminal inquiry, 73 pages worth, to be specific. This multi-million dollar lawsuit, with its explosive allegations and high-profile names, could have a major impact on Diddy's future, both legally and professionally. The music producer claimed that one of the things he was paid to do was follow Diddy around with a video camera. That's right, Lil Rod now has hours and hours of footage of Diddy taking part in illegal activity and the industry giants who were right there with him. One name that surprised everyone was the Duke of Sussex, Prince Harry. Many believe that Diddy and the member of British royalty first became acquainted when he performed alongside Kanye West at the concert for Diana at Wembley Stadium. A picture from the 2007 concert has since resurfaced, showing Prince Harry and William posing with the rappers. According to Lil Rod, Diddy would often coerce people who were just starting in the industry into illicit activities by showing them the glamorous lifestyle he had to offer first. This meant flying them out for parties all across the world where several VIP celebrities and members of royalty would be present. It's important to understand here that in his 73-page filing, Lil Rod didn't signal out Prince Harry for any wrongdoing. The most he's been accused of is being acquainted with, or possibly good friends with, someone who has a long-standing criminal history. Also named was Grammy-winning DJ and record producer Stevie J. Lil Rod, who claimed that Diddy's coercion started with the record producer, he told Diddy he was a huge fan of a member of Diddy's elusive team, the Hitmen. Then, when Diddy expected more from Lil Rod and he refused, he showed him a compromising video of Stevie J. According to Lil Rod, Diddy told him that even his heroes took part in what he was refusing to do. Stevie J has been romantically linked to Diddy in the past, but members of the Hitmen denied the rumors, saying they were just really, really good friends. Their friendship stayed strong even after investigators revealed they'd be pursuing a case against the CEO. Stevie J posted a video on the Hitmen's official Instagram account with the caption, this is what a real Diddy party looks like. What he meant to say was that everyone in Hollywood has links to Diddy some industry giants are now claiming they've never associated with, whether Stevie J's post was a thinly veiled threat or just stating facts, we don't know. The video was from Diddy's 50th birthday party where several high-profile celebrities made an appearance, including Dr. Dre, Jay-Z, Kim Kardashian, Machine Gun Kelly, Kanye West, Kevin Hart, The Weeknd, Post Malone, Travis Scott, Kylie Jenner, and the list goes on and on. Everyone knows that Diddy throws some of the biggest parties in Hollywood, but no one knows what goes on at them. When the host of Hot Ones tried to ask Ashton Kutcher to elaborate, he just said he couldn't tell anyone. That's right, in 2019, the Hollywood actor claimed that he couldn't tell anyone what went down behind closed doors at Diddy's parties. Kutcher has been a longtime friend of Diddy's, going back to 2003. They've been seen hanging out pretty frequently, but since Diddy's 2023 convictions, Kutcher and his wife Mila Kunis have distanced themselves from the record producer. Diddy told James Corden on The Late Late Show back in 2018 that Kutcher is one of his closest friends. Until 2023, when Cassie Ventura accused Diddy of assault, Kutcher returned the sentiment. He told interviewers that he respected and admired Diddy's drive. Also named in the affidavit, but not listed as a celebrity, was Young Miami, Diddy's girlfriend at the time. Everyone knows Young Miami as one half of the rap duo City Girls alongside JT, another one of Diddy's close friends. According to Lil Rod, Young Miami was complicit in everything that went down behind closed doors and tried to convince him to partake. 
He claimed that once at a party, the rapper instructed her friends and cousins to harass Lil Rod. The music producer claimed that he made it clear to her and everyone else there that he was uninterested. However, later on that evening, he believes he was drugged and assaulted. Lil Rod claimed that the rapper was more involved with Diddy than everyone was led to believe. At the 2023 Met Gala, which Diddy attended with Young Miami by his side, he told the press that they were romantically involved, but not necessarily dating. He called her his very good friend. Lil Rod has since gone on record to claim that Diddy paid the rapper to coerce men in the music industry to partake in his fantasies. When fans attacked the rapper on X, stating that she would do anything for $250,000, Young Miami clapped back, claiming that Diddy didn't have that sort of money. It looked like she was denying the allegations and distancing herself from the record producer altogether. Someone close to rapper 50 Cent was also named in Lil Rod's papers, the mother of his youngest child, Daphne Joy. The rapper might just have been the only legend in the music industry who refused to associate with Diddy at all. He'd once claimed that Diddy tried to coerce him back in the early 2000s. The rapper claimed that the record producer would offer him expensive gifts to spend more time with him. 50 Cent's been very vocal about his dislike for Diddy, and he has been for years. Ironically, one of the people named in Lil Rod's affidavit was the mother of his youngest son, sire, Daphne Joy. For more context, the rapper and his ex didn't have an amicable split. Both sides hurled accusations at one another, and Daphne even claimed that the rapper had broken into her condo, assaulted her, and caused several thousands of dollars worth of damage. If convicted, 50 Cent could face up to five years in prison and a $46,000 fine. So when Lil Rod named Daphne as one of Diddy's girls alongside Young Miami, 50 Cent jumped on the bandwagon to tell people it was 100% true. Of course, Daphne fired back, claiming that she'd never met Lil Rod and had only met Diddy a handful of times, but was never close to him. She also accused her ex of trying to sabotage her reputation because of their ongoing court case. Last but not least, the music producer named the former chief of security for Michael Jackson, Mr. Muhammad, in the court filing. Mr. Muhammad, also known as Fahim Muhammad, was allegedly Diddy's man on the inside, according to Lil Rod. The music producer claimed that if any of Diddy's associates ran into trouble with the law, he'd instruct them to call Mr. Muhammad to take care of it. By getting into trouble, Lil Rod alleges that Diddy would often have his associates, mostly young people starting in the music industry, carry out illegal trades on his behalf. Lil Rod claimed that Mr. Muhammad was the reason why Diddy's illegal activities went unnoticed for so long. It's unclear if he believed that Mr. Muhammad had been doing the same for Michael Jackson when he was alive too. For now, Diddy's taken a long pause from the press while the case is still ongoing. So from a former associate of Michael Jackson being named in Lil Rod's papers to Prince Harry's name being linked to P. Diddy, that was the shocking list of celebrities that are caught in P. Diddy's case.